It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Yeah, nice to see you too. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage, not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back, to play, to take care of them, to listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. 
badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. room. It's like he never... Damn it. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Looks nourishing. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Ah, that's too quick. It needs longer exposure. Missed my window. Now it's overexposed. <laughs> 